Okay, so we had a spinny extractor and we just had to like constantly crank on it. And so my dad bought another extractor and it's an electric one and it can hold 18 frames. Yeah, good job, girl. So this is our new Hillco extractor. I just bought it. I even, the plastic um, for the plastic in the back is still on there. So we just bought it. I rinsed it out real good, but we haven't extracted with it yet. Um, see if you can put that down so it's not quite so shaky. And then, can you see me still? Yeah, tip it up. It's okay. Yep, twist that and tip it up. Better. <clears throat> Good. So, yeah, um, I bit the bullet and decided that I was going to buy an electric extractor. We have um, a two, uh, two frame Man Lake uh, hand crank extractor. And last year we got 200 pounds, which isn't a, a ton for some of you, but for me that was the you know, for us, that was the most we'd ever had by a lot. And so a two frame extractor where you have to uh, flip the frames um, between spins uh, was, a, was a lot, it was a lot of work. It was uh, several weeks of uh, late nights to get that all extracted. So, <clears throat> so I bought the bullet, or I hit, uh, bit the bullet and bought a Hillco. And the reason I chose the Hillco was a small company, just up and coming company out of Illinois. Um, John Hill is his name. Um, looks like it's a really good product, uh, really good company. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm really excited to, to try this out. So um, we will maybe do a quick dry run through of the extractor. Um, so I have it plugged in there. There you go. I'll bring it over, Kenzie. Here you got it. Alright. So, we'll just turn it on and go forward. You can hear that fan kick on. It's okay, kid. And so, really nice, just smooth operation. It just starts out really slow and you can ramp it. Really ramp it up. Apparently it tells you in about in watts or something like that. So I'm at 10 watts, it goes up to 60, so. So I'll jack it all the way up to max supers that I pulled yesterday so we will get into the extraction process okay so we use this fork looking thingy to scrape off and then we put it in the extractor so we'll just start scraping here those are the cappings right mm -hmm. and the part we're scraping are the cappings <clears throat> Ooh, there's a lot of good honey under here good. what if I hold the frame up for you can yes do, please do, can do it up and scrape it. It's 93 degrees in our garage right now and it's still maybe not um, hot enough for, for those cappings to come off easily. Uh, it's also been a year since we've done this so we're out of practice so we're getting kind of deep but that's okay. See if you can just get the top, instead of getting all of that down in there, see if you can just get the capping which is just that top part. So if you angle it just a little bit, can I show you? Or if you go a little faster and just kind of scrape just that top. I get it. It's it's still kind of sticky. Go ahead. Um, so we're running nine frames this time. Um, so for our second pull, it should be easier. We'll actually use a knife, hopefully, and be able to cut those cappings off. But we have to scrape them off now because our knife, as you can tell, wouldn't reach wouldn't reach any of that. So and this is these are the only tools we have right now. I don't have a uncapping. Um, punch those roller punch things or anything like that. Okay, so we just fully scraped two frames. Um, and so fully scraped them would look like this. Very good. 
Okay, we're dripping, dripping honey. We're good, alright, we'll get them into the mix. And then we're going to put these into um, the extract. Yeah, one more? Yep. Oh, yeah. One more. This is what the second one looks like. Look at what, look at what we missed. Flip it over. We didn't get the back side, so we gotta do that one. Ah, yeah. So now we just scrape quickly the back side. We forgot to do that. So now we'll put the second one in. So that's two of 18 that we can put in here. So we will be back with a full extractor and show you how it looks. Okay, so we were we are back from two frames. We have finally filled up the entire extractor, which was a lot of work, but we ended up making it. So now we're just going to spin them out. And here's the extract um, frames, like filters to um, filter out like the smaller pieces and then bigger pieces, and then it'll go into this bu um, bucket, which is the nice honey that we want. Yep. So show them all the frames that are in and there. And then we can show you all the frames in here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Pull up. I can even spin them for you. And now, I'm going to lock this up. If you want to step over there and we'll, we can start turning it on and get it going a little bit. How do I turn on? Get um, on, on off. So you hit fan. There we go. And now uh, make sure it's click this one. Oops. Get it now stuck. Turn that knob real slowly. There we go. So we're going to just start nice and slow. We can go a little bit faster in that cavity. Let's see what happens as far as. No shake yet. Ooh, we can really smell it though, huh? Smell that honey? Smells pretty good, doesn't it? Think because it's not wobbling, I think you can turn it, start cranking it up a little bit more, just slowly, and we'll just see. Do you hear or see honey coming out of the frames yet at that speed? Yeah, there's some things in all at the bottom. At the bottom, how it hitting the sides, so when it extracts, it should kind of hit the side of the extractor. You see that at all? Extra honey on the sides. I think we can turn it up a little bit more now. And just doing this nice and slow. So from my understanding that this does not have a program that you can set so it ramps up. I guess I've got conflicting information from the internet as far as whether that is true or not. So I'll have to get back to on that. But um, because in one video John Hill does describe where you can start. Oh, you can hear it. I can hear it slapping on the side. Let's see if it's hard to see with all those rings. Oh yeah, I can see it a little bit. Should sure even see down in there now, but I think since it's not vibrating, you can go ahead and turn it up a little bit more kind of. See how it's not bouncing around or anything, so it's pretty evenly. Imagine Dad spinning all these frames out by himself, two at a time. Yeah. This is pretty nice, 18 frames. Hilco Ultramax, I think is what this is called. You can really hear it hitting the sides now.
lift the, lift the door up. Yep. There we go. That's good stuff. Really stable. You don't have this bolted to the floor or anything. This is really stable. 18 frames. Oh, I like the breeze. Yeah, yeah, so much, so fast that it spins that it, it does give you a breeze in there. It smells so good. You can leave it just wide open, bro. Just let it all run out. There you go, we're gonna even close that gate. We don't want to close it, maybe if we're overflowing or something like that. Filters not doing this shit. So, we're gonna turn it up a little bit where we're at. Now, just number wise. 30. Yeah, so down and then 
So whatever you want to do, do you, you want to shut it all the way down or give it a second and then we'll shut the gate and then let it go to there and then we'll tighten that screw. Alright, doing great. I guess we're just going to pause here for a minute and let it filter out. So, Philco Ultramax 18 frame extractor here. I don't know, first run, it's going fantastic, so that's awesome.